is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's... Sounds good to me. And there we go. We're done. I can't play anymore because Jose always crashes the rooms. Um, and as I stated, um, if we do ever happen to hit a tier 2 tip skull... Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. If we ever happen to hit a tier 2 tip skull one of these nights... Uh, I will do another reveal of something new that I had prepared for the 200 vestry, but we didn't hit it, so. Dull buff cheered 50 bits, and he says, How many give this to take to play Ghost of Tsushima on hard? I'm not playing it on hard. Maybe someday I'll replay it on hard. I'm not playing my first playthrough on hard. I told you this, so. No, I'm not PW Dubs. That's how I'm doing. I'm doing alright. I had fun with the 200 vest celebration earlier today. Um, admittedly, I was kind of, not upset, but I was disappointed that people were disappointed at the end. Because I tried to emulate the 100 vest celebration, which people really like, and then people complained. It's like, well, I don't have to tell you, like, I just emulated exactly what we did that people enjoyed a ton, and now you guys told me you didn't like it this time as much. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Hit him block! I couldn't block! He hit me with a punch, I'm just standing holding back, and it hits me anyway. It's so fucking dumb. He hit me with the cross-up, and it didn't, it didn't combo. But he still hit me with two low kicks, it wouldn't block for me. Terrible. So two rounds in a row, I lose because the game won't block. First, if I can just hit me randomly when I'm holding back, he has to punch into a ball, I can't do anything. Then he gets two low kicks into a Mudai blocking, and it doesn't block, so... Fuck that. <laughs> my mouth is full of salt. Yeah, Timo, I know. That's what I said earlier, I said I feel this too streak might end tonight. Only because we just had a celebration, and people get like, oh, okay, it's safe now because we just had a celebration, right? That's kind of what happened. That's what happened last last celebration, too. It was hard to get it right after the celebration. I heard Dart says, maybe people think that I have enough money to pay my taxes now. Like, I haven't, I think, if nothing goes wrong, I probably have enough money to pay my lawyer. That's different than having enough money to actually pay the taxes. I have to pay the lawyer to arrange for the tax plan. But, you know, I'm definitely in a much better position than I was before this whole thing, that's for sure. But it's an ongoing thing. It's not something that just ends. I don't have, I don't, you know. No, I do not raise ridiculous amounts of money to the point where I can pay all my back taxes. I gotta, I have to qualify for a payment plan for the back taxes is what I need to do. The IRS will destroy me if I don't pay my taxes. No, but that's what I think it is, is when you have a celebratory event. Okay, we, everyone was pushing. We got hit 200. We hit 200. Now it's like, oh, well, we hit 200. Everything is, is you know, we, we even hit 250. A lot of people would feel like maybe we won't. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm being honest. It's gonna be much harder now to hit the tip skull. I don't know if we'll hit it tonight. I want to hit. I want this positivity to continue. Obviously, it helps me. It's a cool thing to put on the vest of celebration every night. But I don't know. Are you the man? Por favor, it's muy importante. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. No, see, so some people are like, I think maybe the festival killed the momentum. No, the festival did not kill the momentum. The festival was fun. No. We had a lot of stuff we talked about. I updated the game schedule. Jasper, you know, it's fun stuff. And one of the DSP tries was actually really good. The other one was shit, but one of them was really good. The problem is the people who come in here every day, and all they do is complain. No matter what I play, no matter what I do, whine, whine, fucking whine. They're not here because they're fans, they're here because they want to try to fuck things up for me and derail stuff. And I put up with them because it's, you know, oh, they didn't necessarily break the stream rules, but here they are being negative influences every day. And you had like five or six of them who just sat there like, this is boring, everything's boring, I'm so bored. And then the regulars get upset too, they're like, damn, like I came here for fun, and you got these fucking guys who are just complaining constantly. Why can't they just shut the fuck up? And it's true. If they don't, if you don't like what I'm doing today, why are you here? If you were here for gameplay, why are you at a fucking vest celebration stream, right? But that's how they are. They just want to shit on everyone's fucking parade because that's the kind of people they are. Again, they weren't here to see me be successful or have fun. They were here to be dicks. And then it ruins the whole thing for everybody, you know? Basically, what I wanted to do with the 200 best festival, I wanted to emulate what I had done with the 100 festival. Because people all told me that the 100 best celebration was really good. And they said that the 150 wasn't as good. So can I, can I like, kind of go back to what I did with that one? I'm like, okay, we can. So I tried to add in the same events. I tried to make it as tier 2 reward goals and everything. And it's like, wine, 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 wine. 
All right, you wanna know why? Because they're mad. They're mad that it was a 200 vestry. They never thought it would get that far. So what do you gotta do? Complain and fucking whine constantly. All I can taste is the saltiness. By the way, these idiots think that I don't know that they're trolls, when I know exactly where they are and the shit that they say about me behind the scenes. You know, they think that I, I'm not aware of all that shit. <laughs> and a few people are sitting there on sock accounts, they don't think I know who I, they don't think I know who they are either, you know? Well, you got me. But the thing is, that's the thing, if I just ban someone, then it'll be like, oh, well, see, he didn't break the rules. So if he'll ban someone who didn't break the rules, then that's not fair. Like, yeah, I know, I know who these people are, I know they're just here to be a negative influence. And instead, I just kind of put up with it. Um... Because I don't want to be look like a negative dick or overbearing dick who just bans everyone, you know? And I don't, I don't want to ban a lot of people. I'd rather not ban anyone. I'd rather just have fun with games and not have to worry. But sadly, that's the problem with these shitheads is... They were, they're gonna complain about... Tomorrow I'll play Ghost of Tsushima. They'll complain. Afterwards, I'll play Paper Mario. They'll complain. I'll play Dead of Premonition 2 Sunday night. They'll complain. It doesn't matter what I play. They, they, they complain it's boring and it sucks. The only game that they like... If I'm playing a game where I'm literally losing constantly, they'll love it. Salud. That's the only game those people like, because they're shitheads. You know, they're scumbags. So as you can see, sadly Jose is up to his hijinks again tonight. And I'm trying to get in a lobby without Jose, but I'm not, it's, it's not working out too well tonight. It looks like every lobby has Jose in it. I'm an entitled whining bitch who ruins a fun stream for everyone. And that's really what happened earlier today. Was, oh my god, we want this immediately, we want this immediately, we want this immediately, we want this immediately. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Shut the fuck up and go away. No one wants you on a positive stream if that's going to be your attitude, and that's how a lot of people were being. Can't you need to get out now? That place is toxic. There's a good six, seven people who were just sitting there the whole stream being assholes. And it pissed me off because I wanted to have a good time. I was trying to celebrate a positive accomplishment when you got people just sitting there whining, whining, whining. It's like, could you shut the fuck up and let the rest of us have a positive time, please? But again, you know, I try to be the nice guy. I try not to insta bad if there's no, you know, no violation of the rules or whatever. Okay? It's just frustrating. It is. Because, again, I tried to emulate what people liked from that first hundred vest stream. One of the things people really liked is that I had a tier two goal, so that we hit the tier one goal, great, here's the reward, but here's the tier two reward. So I do the same thing, and now, oh, Phil just give us the tier two reward without hitting the goal. Wait, what? But I directly listened to your feedback. I had a tier two goal because you guys liked that on the hundred vest celebration. Now all of a sudden it's changed, and I should not have it and just give you everything. It's like, huh? So what's the fun of it? What's the incentive? What's the suspense? You know what I mean? It's just, it doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't. It just, again, it's not, there's a lose-lose situation because it's either give us instant gratification on everything, in which case it's just unrealistic, or I'm the villain no matter what, you know? <laughs> what else can we milk out of fucking Phil? He's only here six days a week the entire fucking day streaming. It's hilarious. People are linking it on Twitter to me. Gee, that stream was real good, Phil. Here's all the people who complained. I'm like, yeah, look, it's the same names over and over. Yet for some reason, I just fucking forgave it instead of actually taking care of it. I should, you're right. I should have just said ban, ban, ban and been done with it. But I'm too nice of a fucking guy. Now here we are on the night stream, and everyone says, well, no one wants to contribute because your your earlier stream sucked. How about this? Fuck you. You think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. If you feel that way, leave and don't come back. If you don't like my streams, don't sit here and complain about them. You know, I'll take constructive criticism, but not your streams suck no matter what. If you're going to be a constant negative, 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 I don't want to hear it. There's a very big difference between actual constructive and just being a fucking whining asshole. <clears throat> okay. There's no guarantee that I'm ever going to be able to get... Like, I'm going to eventually have to buy a new PC, but there's no guarantee I'm ever going to have a ton of money to like, build a giant PC. What I was saying was, things are going really good right now with the vest streak and everything continuing. And if it does, then we're looking at really positive stuff later this year. Like I said, being able to get rid of this couch, get a new chair, get a green screen set up, improve my camera, and then long-term things like get a new PC, maybe build one together, you know. Spend all your money on me. That was for you, kid, not for Hadouken. Didn't do that. What the hell? I can't block it all! It won't block! Are you kidding me? I give up. I totally give up. Four hits in a row, I was holding back and the game didn't block. So I'm just gonna leave this lobby. Oh shit! <laughs> well, that was way too much. RPG fan choose if you think that's worse or better than Jose's internet? I don't know because I never played Jose. I couldn't tell you, you know, if that's worse or better. Ah, oh, I almost had the cow there. Anti-air didn't come out. What? Uh, See, this is why I hate this game. 
Did that guy actually do anything impressive? He didn't even do a single combo. All he did, he knew there was an abusive jumping hitbox with Armika, and he literally just did it the entire round, and I have no answer for it. That's why I hate Alpha 3. Oh, there's an abusive hitbox? Just keep doing it. Over and over and over and over. That's like the game, because the game is so unbalanced and doesn't play like real Street Fighter. In a normal Street Fighter game, there'd be a character with a wake-up move. You can blow through that shit. You can't just do it endlessly. But this game fucking sucks so hard that you can just literally do the jumping move over and over and over, and I can't do anything about it. I have no answer for it. And that's why I hate Alpha 3. It's like the game that takes the least fucking skill. Oh, you're getting salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Papa Phil, Big Papa Phil says I actually did play Jose before. Most of the time he would run away and just jump away and mash kicks. You know what it is? Because he basically wanted to troll me. So that's how he trolled me at first until apparently he found a way to completely crash the game every time. But the $57 tips tonight, guys, so we are making progress. Albeit slow, but we are making progress. Like I said, I played for at least another half hour. I'm not giving a hint. I'm outright telling you guys. You know? An uh, anonymous to me, Dollar 30 says, Jose moved into harassment territory and he's ruining it for everyone. I mean, yeah, he does it on purpose every week. He's literally doing it just because he gets attention doing it. No one even knows who he is, no one will ever care about him. But he somehow gets some sick satisfaction out of knowing that there's a streamer out there who he can ruin his online experience of. I don't know why he would give a shit besides being a complete loser. But some people are just complete losers. I mean, maybe that's the explanation. Yep, I'm toxic. I can't block. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Still can't do anything. The connection is so bad, I can't do reversal shoryuken. I can't do wake up shoryuken to stop what he's doing. So he just gets away with walking forward and mashing punch. So what's the point of even playing? He just walks forward and mashes punch, and he gets hit throw, hit throw, and the connection is so bad, I can't do a single thing about it. That's pathetic. Oh my oh! god. <laughs> So, Shy Labutt just tipped $42, and that means we actually hit the tips goal for tonight. Okay, let's get the gray. So, this is the new one. I figured it'd be the one people probably want to see. All right. The slim gray. Not that I, I, I need to say it, but if we do double the tips goal tonight, um, I will be doing a big a reveal that I was supposed to do on the 200 vest celebration earlier today, but we didn't hit the goal. I'm not saying we're going to get $75 more in tips right now. I'm just saying, by some freak chance, if we do, because I didn't think we were going to hit the tips goal at all, and now we're over the tips goal tonight. So, just throwing that out there, but... Mark McCauley says, hint, hint, do no hint, hint. I'm outright telling you, I really would appreciate some help via tipping. <laughs> That's not a hint. That's saying, if you can, please help, because it really sucked earlier today. It was so goddamn slow. Ladies and gentlemen, Shy LaButt just to be $50. He says, Mackenzie Bucket wants to know what the big reveal is about, dude. All right, guys, well, we've done it. We've doubled the tip's call. <laughs> oh, no, hold on. There's not enough time. I'm not even ready. I'm not ready. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> like you didn't know what it was! Wow! Like you had no clue what it was, right? Yes, the vest exists! The Phantom Red Vest! So here's the thing. I wanted to get a vest that looked like the Marty McFly vest from Back to the Future. That was my goal, actually, for this 200 vest streak. I wanted to get a vest that wasn't red like this, but was actually more orangish red, which is the Marty McFly color. It's a hybrid of like, like orange red. And in fact, when I went to Amazon to search for this vest, I searched for Marty McFly vest or Back to the Future vest. And this was the one that came up with high ratings and people were saying it looks like Marty McFly's vest. I'm sorry, in my opinion, it doesn't. People are saying, you look like Barry Burton. I guess so. I, I would say, okay, it's with the headphones and then I kind of look like Barry Burton. All right, we'll go with that. It's the Barry Burton vest then. How exciting! Woo -hoo 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 but I hope you guys like it. Thank you very much for a very supportive day. I feel a little bit more positive now because earlier today I was feeling a little bummed out. I feel better now, so thank you guys for the support and thank you for kind of cheering me up tonight. I appreciate that, you know, with, with your kind words. Not only your support there, obviously, but your kind words, you guys are basically trying to cheer me up and say, don't worry about the haters and shit, and I agree with you. I did it! I did it! Victory! Victory, baby! Victory! Yeah! <laughs> I got even more money. Ah, <laughs> nice. Me just sitting back and laughing my ass off at how stupid these people are. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. 
No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>